the huge concrete sign at the Mariupol entrance now painted in the Russian tricolor. It is fully rebuilt and shows no signs of the fighting that raged here for over a month, just as the buildings behind it fully rebuilt. These days, some parts of Mariupol look like a huge construction site. The first thing we did was with the multi apartment buildings. We had to prepare them so the people could get through the winter. Besides that, we prepared a fund for those who couldn't rebuild their individual homes so they could survive the winter. In another part of the city, a fully finished apartment complex that already has new tenants. Lyudmila is one of them. We have survived something I didn't know was possible to survive. I was left with nothing. I had nothing after that. But they gave me an apartment. They gave me a pension. Do you understand? And life has been rebuilt here. People have become more relaxed. And we are very happy now. Life is being rebuilt here in Mariupol, but still not everywhere. The devastation is still visible on many buildings throughout the city, and some military relics of the fighting still remain, like the remnants of this Ukrainian T-64 next to the Azovstal iron and steel plant, where Ukrainian troops made their final stand, or the Azovstal plant itself, as well as the hundreds of homes close by. A live people is handwritten on these doors to try to save those inside this house during the fighting. Ten months later, there is nobody inside. It is obvious that there is a lot of construction happening these days in Mariupol. But considering the scale of devastation of this city, it is a big question. How many years, how long it will take for this city to be fully rebuilt, if ever?